I've got this floor joist up here. I got it wedged in tight. I don't have it nailed or anything so I can kind of tap it one way or another. And there's a reason why I haven't done the band pieces yet and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, I, I, I want to make sure that this board right here is going square with this line. Now how can I figure that out? I don't have a two foot square on me or a big huge long four foot T square that you use to cut plywood with or sheetrock with or anything like that. And it's like I don't have any any outside corner or inside corner to measure off of, do I? Anywhere, because when this sheet goes down here, I've determined I think I want to start from this end and go this way. Eight foot is going to be about five or six inches away from this last piece. I don't want I don't want a, an extra floor joist four or five inches away from there because we're going to be trampling back and forth through here. There's going to be more weight there. I, I've got to attach this to the uh, the stucco, and I'd rather I'd rather have it attached over this way on this side if that makes sense so my sheet is going to start from there but how do I know do I know 100% for sure that if I were to go straight through this column and across that this corner is perfectly square how can I figure that out well I'm going to show you how to do that right now now why is that important Joe well here's the reason why it's important because when you if, if you just put this up let's say let's say we go across and I've already I've already measured and let's say the end of the plywood's there and you go 16 inch centers I want 32 to the center of this 2 by 6 joist going over here and I and I measured the same thing from that point over to there so this is this is exactly right assuming that that is square with this because the long piece of plywood is going to go against this edge right here and I want to make sure that it stays tight to that and if that's not and if if I measure from there and I put all my joists in I'll just put the joists in Joe just measure off of there boom 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 uh, and then it's like when I get to this last piece and I cut this 4x8 sheet what if the end the end might fit right there but what if it goes way over the board or way under the board if it goes under the board meaning if it's not flush with the outside edge I may think oh man I have to cut this notch further and I have to move it over three quarters of an inch then I have to then I have to measure from there to nothing cut that off and now all of a sudden my joist that I've already nailed in with joist hanger nails and stuff I've got to move that over because it's not hitting now or I have to put a scab on the side of it or trim it off if it's if it's going over or whatever so that's the reason why we we've, we've got to we need to figure this out okay and here's my trick to figure this out that I can measure this and know that it's square with just my tape measure okay here's the formula have you ever heard of the three four five method that means from this point right here if I measure over three feet from this inside point three feet over to the outside edge and then I measure from this point out four feet to this right side edge and then I put my tape measure between the points on the inside point from inside to inside that should be five feet three four five if you figure three four five then you know it's square and if you've got a large room or something and you want to figure something out then you just you you it times that by two you can go six eight ten you know if your room's bigger if it's really super big I've, I've done it for big huge commercial buildings before laying out all the walls and figuring out where the t-bar is 
or if there's no T-bar ceiling, so lots of times if there's a T-bar ceiling, I'll plumb down because usually if I build a T-bar ceiling myself, I make sure that those strings are exactly square. And if I got a huge room, then once I get the strings up, after I put the wall angle up at the ceiling, I can measure out. I can measure along the string, just the string after I have it pulled really super tight. And it's not, it, it's jet line, it's called. It, it's a string for T-bar ceilings. You can pull it really super tight. It's really thin and it's hard to break that stuff. So I wouldn't want to go three, four, five if I've got a room that's uh, 80 feet by 40 feet or something like that. So I, and I wouldn't want to go six, eight, ten. I, I would want to go like 12, 18, or 12, 16, and 20. And I measure that off, and then I have somebody help me hold the tape measure really tight, and then put a little pencil mark on the strings, and then I, and then, and then I'll uh, continue the side, and that, that's how, that's how I get my square. Now I can do that on a small scale too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure three, four, five. Okay, and. And I'll see if this is square with this. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it is or not. I don't think it is. I have not done it yet. Okay, this is nice and, and snug. I cut it snug, so I'm gonna I'm gonna measure over three feet here, and it's gonna be to this to this outside edge. Okay, the outside edge because I'm on the outside edge. I'm getting this corner, and so now I've got to measure over. Uh, four feet here. Ah, I'm having a hard time measuring that. I'm going to have to move the ladder. Now, now maybe I can get, I should be able to get all the angles here. Okay, so now I'm going to come out four feet. This is interesting, huh? Uh, okay. I'm going to measure four feet. This is going to determine, and it's this inside edge, because I, I don't want to go to that edge. I want this inside, because I'm getting the inside of this box. Basically, I'm measuring half of a box. Three, four, five. Okay? And so now, if I take the tip of my tape measure, and then I have to read the inside edge here, Drum roll. I gotta hold it right there. And I'm not at five feet, I'm at 59 and a quarter, and I should be at 60. I should be at 60 inches. Okay? So I know this is not square with that. Okay? Number one, I want this to be square. This is not exactly necessarily where this beam's gonna go just yet, okay? I'm just merely getting it square. Okay, so I'm gonna put a pencil mark there knowing that this edge is there. That's not necessarily where it's gonna live forever. And so I know that this edge, I, I'm not gonna move that. Three, four, I've got my marks, four and three. I pull my tape measure across, I want that to line up to five feet, so I know it's short now, so that this has to go that way. I gotta make sure that that's still on. And I'm gonna measure this again. Right to the inside to inside, I got 59 and 5 eighths. I need to go over to 60. Now if I had somebody here to help me, they could hold me right on that point, but you know, this is pretty close. There. That's right at 60. Just a hair short. I'm 
looking up here, see if I'm still on the line, which I am. And what I should actually do to be exactly perfect is take my, my square out. I should have done that first. I'm just going to pop this over, get it out of my way, and then I'm going to put a square line down here because that might affect my measurement. Okay. Yeah, geez, all this, that's because this is all existing. I don't know anything square. Obviously, we now know that this is not square with this. And that matters because our our 4x8 sheet of plywood is square, right? Okay, I got that where that goes. Measure this again. Remember our three, four, five. So I measured over this way, three feet. I can double check it on my on my pencil mark down there. Hey, what happened? It should be right on. And if anything, it's slightly off. Maybe because I had the ladder there. We, we want to get this lined up because this is a straight, I'm using this as a straight line for the plywood.